turn to step up to the demo cam today. And it's kind of interesting because I have a recycling project that also uses metal. So I'm incorporating a little bit of what Linda's doing and a little bit of what Cynthia's doing to share with you my tea light flowers. Now this is a design where I took the tea light flower and I made it into a napkin ring. And what I'm going to do here is I am going to uh, switch over to my demo cam and uh, so that we can start the demo. Okay, so my first question is, can everyone hear me okay on the demo cam? Okay, perfect. I have a new setup today where I have two cameras going and um, haven't been able to do this for a while. Uh, so this is fun, where I don't have to reposition the camera. All right, what I'm going to do, you know, our theme is Christmas in July. And it, at the holidays, you know, you have a lot of those tea lights where you um, use them for various either warming dishes or to light up around the house. And so a lot of times you have these metal pieces left over. Well, what do you do with them? Well, I came up with this idea because my sister Candace has a craft design studio. And she also sells herbs. Gosh, she has, I think now, almost 300 herbs and teas at her store. And when customers come in, she likes to serve tea warmed. And so you put this little tea light under this great setting for the teapot. Well, she has a lot of these. So I was looking at them one day thinking, what can I do with them? And I immediately saw a flower. So what you want to do, if you have your tea lights and they, you are using them, let them burn all the way to the bottom. Or if not, you know, they are inexpensive and you can remove the, the candle if you want to. But um, use them first so you can recycle these. Now these are super, super simple to cut. They're actually very thin and you just use your scissors to cut into them. And I'm not measuring this. I'm just going to kind of eyeball this to create six petals. Oops, it would help if I had it in the camera. Okay. And then you just open this up. And then the next thing I do is I turn it face down and I just smash it. Okay. So that's pretty easy. And what I like about this is it has just enough body that you can shape those petals when uh, you finish cutting. So I just round off the petals. Be sure that you take those little edges just like Linda was showing earlier. You want to be sure that you don't have any sharp edges. That's the little spot that uh, will get you and might poke you. But otherwise, if everything is rounded off, it's the same way that Heidi makes her soda uh, can jewelry. You just need to be sure that you round everything off. And if you need to, you could take uh, the emery board and file a little bit. Oopsie. I missed one here. And keep cutting. You can see this is really easy to do. All right. Once you have this shape, now see all these little pieces right here, they, these are the pieces you need to be careful of because they have the sharper points. So once I have all of my petals cut, I just use my hand to, my fingers, to just give a little bit more shape to these petals. And of course then you can start to see that flower come to life. The next thing I do is I paint the metal. Of course, we've had a lot of discussion about alcohol inks today. Of course, you could use those. I'm using my um, folk art paint from Plaid for this today. So you can brush on. I have another example I'll show you in just a moment where you can actually spray on also. But this is a look that has a very um, distressed aged look so the painting and the paint doesn't have to be perfect. If you want more color, be sure let this dry, add another coat of paint. So you just keep going. You can see how quickly you can uh, put your flowers together. You keep going and you paint your design any color that you'd like. So if I were going to put another coat of paint on, I would want to let 
this dry coat dry first. Actually, I like this because it, there's some shininess to it, which um, gives it a nice reflective look. I think that's kind of cool. So you let that dry completely. Then what you want to do is decide what you want to put in the center. Now, uh, you can use, like I did on this example, let me bring this back up. This is one of those large, flat-backed marbles. And what I did is I used the reverse collage glue to glue a piece of scrapbook paper to the back. It's a little bit difficult to see on the camera today, but this paper had embroidery on it. So I liked the, the way that you could see the texture through the bead. This one maybe you can see a little bit clearer. So I painted the flower, the green, and then you can see there's a piece of that embroidered scrapbook paper that I think came from Paper Source that I just glued to the back. So those are real fun. You could also use smaller flat back marbles if you'd like to. Let me get a little bit closer with this. You can see I used one flat back marble and uh, five little beads around the center. Now as I mentioned, you can also use spray paint if you'd like to uh, spray paint your tea light. This was the flat Rust-Oleum white and that gives you a nice background in order to use your rub and buff in gold to just pick up some gold highlights. So what I did for the actual napkin rings is I, you can use uh, your paper towel rolls or toilet paper rolls and recycle, just cover them with some neat paper and then you would glue your finished flower on to the top in order to make a napkin ring. Well, of course you can use these flowers for so many different projects. And um, as I mentioned, when you're thinking about the centers, there's you can change the looks up so much. Here's a, a square marble from my sister's mosaic stash. This is one of my eco delis that I pour. You could use that for the center. So have fun with your tea lights and um, get into recycling. The other thing I wanted to show you real quick was that when you're thinking about covering your paper towel rolls to create your napkin rings, it's a lot of fun to take your scrapbook paper and layer it and stitch it together. So on this, I stitched it with a piece of the velvet ribbon. And you can see how pretty this would look with this uh, design on the top. So have fun, be creative, and it's great to recycle.